Hey, what's up you guys and welcome to Pokemon Showdown. A couple of days ago I put up a community post where I was asking whether or not you guys wanted to see some Pokemon Showdown videos because I spent quite some time on this website and making videos where I'm just fucking around with weird ass teams it, it just seemed like a lot of fun to me. A couple of people responded that they thought this was a good idea and well, here I am. So, you clicked on this video and you already know what I'm going to do, so I'm not even gonna explain it, I'm just gonna go straight to the team. So here it is, the Perish Trap team. It really took me a while to get this team together because there aren't a lot of Pokemon that I can use for this. I either need Pokemon that can trap and use Perish Song, or I need to use Perish Song and then switch out to a Pokemon that can actually trap another Pokemon. So what you're seeing right here is multiple days of trying to figure out what to use, because I, I had no idea. In the end I came up with this team. And, well, I, I'm just gonna go left to right. So first things first, we have Mega Gengar here, which is gonna be a Trapper and a Perish Song user. So yeah, here's a timid Mega Gengar with defensive EVs. Then I'm gonna skip over Smeargle for a little bit, because he's the biggest meme I'm using on this team. So then the second Pokemon I'm using is Dugtrio. He's obviously one of my Trappers, he doesn't learn Perish Song. And I mostly added him to the team because I got sick and tired of people using Vault Switch on me and escaping my trap. So yeah, I still can't escape U-Turn, but... At least I can escape Fault Switch. So it's basically the same as Gengar, except it doesn't learn Perish Song. Then my third Pokemon is Murkrow, which is pretty obvious why I'm using it. Um, I'm using it for Prankster, mostly because I want to stop people from setting up on this terrible team. Um, so I have Haze right here. Um, to trap Pokemon, I have Mean Luke right here, and then Perish Song to finish it off. So this is going to be a really useful poke. Then my fourth Pokemon is Govitel. Same thing as the others, really. I really don't have any bulky defense Pokemon. Um, I guess I could have made uh, Govitel a bulky defense poke, but its its special defense stat was 110, and boosting that up to 350 was just worth it, in my opinion. Um, then I gave it speed EVs, and the reason for giving it speed EVs is because um, in previous situations, when I Thunderwave someone, they would still be faster than me, and that, that basically didn't work at all. Um, obviously, this is one of my trappers. It doesn't learn Perish Song. And I decided to just fuck around and give it a Resto Berry set because... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> then my fifth Pokemon is Lapras. Um, Lapras, I'm using Lapras because it has really good defense stats and really good special defense stats. And I figured I needed both because I really don't have any defensive wall. Um, on top of that, it can block and perish song, so it can actually trap someone. And then for my final Pokemon, and I, I, you, you can laugh at me all you want. Um, <laughs> here is Focus Band Smeargle. I spider web to obviously trap Pokemon, perish song, defog to delete any hazards, and then protect to buy a turn. Uh, these battles are gonna be um, different from each other because later on I change Smeargle to Focus Sash. Uh, and instead of default, it has Spore. So um, I'll just tell you guys whenever I use the Spore version or the default version. Because I'm kind of showing these battles in a random order. So this is going to be the team that's taken on Ubers. I recorded for about like 4 or 5 days and I have a couple funny battles. So I'm just going to show you the highlights. And I can already tell you that there weren't that many highlights. So don't think this team works in any way, shape or form, okay? So the first battle is actually going to be with a different team I tried. As you can see right here, I still have Miss Dreavus. Um, I later on decided that my team was way too weak against Pokemon such as Dark Ray and Mega Gengar, so I deleted it later on. But I just wanted to show you guys what low ladder Ubers is like, so here we go. So first he sends out Aegislash, and I send out Murkrow. Um, then he uses Swords Dance, then he uses Flash Cannon after Swords Dancing up. And he uses High Jump Kick on a Ghost type, which is really interesting. And then he sends in Giratina. I obviously can't, uh, can't mean look this because he's a Ghost type and... Then he uses Earth Power on a flying type. Yeah, this is low ladder Ubers for you guys. Okay, then the next battle. He starts with Amber Palm and I start with Mega Gengar to trap immediately. And obviously he uses U-Turn because he can't really do anything against me. I was scared of U-Turn between this guy and Chinchino, but he switches to Chansey for some reason, so I just sub. I use Parish Song and then Zen headbutt happens. I have no idea why this guy felt like Zen headbutt was a good idea on Chansey. Chansey has no attack stats at all, but hey, you do you, it's a free kill for me. I switch in Murkrow to basically prankster any Pokemon he sends in and Chansey dies. Then he sends in Heracross, which obviously is gonna mega evolve and rock blast my ass, but I am a stupid idiot and I perish on him instead. But then I make another mistake by sending in Ducktrio, because he has skill link, which makes him hit 5 times every time 
I use substitute like a dumbass and he KOs my duck trio and at this point I already felt like I, I lost this match. I send in Govitel to trap him again and Heracross dies because I protect. Then he sends in A bomb and I didn't know what to expect but Tail Slap doesn't do a lot of damage. So I just use this opportunity to thunder wave him because he's very fast. And then I just use my Resto Berry tactic to get back to full health. Then I just used Mega Gengar to finish off the job because A Pom is banded and he can only use Tail Slap, so it's an easy parry song for me. I switch in Govatel to finish the job and he kills it. Then I make the very questionable decision of sending in Smeargle against the Rapidash. He uses Drill Run and KOs my Smeargle and I figured I basically lost. I sent in Gengar Mega to buy myself the final turn and use Shadow Tag so he can't switch out. And then it's a 2v2. Then he sent in Chinchino and I figured I was gonna get swept. So I use Parish Song to at least get it off and he kills me with Rock Blast because this piece of shit also has skilling. Then I sent in my final poke Leprous and I thought I lost at this point. Upon sending out my Leprous, this guy goes, your playing style is dot dot. He probably wants to say something bad to me. He uses Bullet Seat and I figure out he isn't even banned, which is a really dumb decision in my opinion. And I use Block to at least lock him in Parish Song. And then at this point I was only able to do one thing. I had to go for the double protect else I'd be fucked either way. I used my first protect to gain a little bit of health back and then it was the moment of truth. Before the final turn he says, you lost. And I, I actually agreed with him at that point. But then the 50% went through and I hit my double protect. And thus I only had one guy left to defeat. And then he goes, no, why you? Get fucked, nerd. But the match still wasn't over yet, he still had his Amber Palm. He sent out his Amber Palm and it used Tail Slap, it only did 8% per hit. So I was at least able to sing for this guy. And then the only thing I was able to do at this point was once again going for the double protect. Was I gonna be the luckiest guy in the world and hit a double protect two times in a row to actually win a match I never should have won? Let's figure it out. So, Parish Song to 2 and I hit it. I can't imagine how fucking angry this guy is at this point, because this means I win the battle. He used another tail slap because my third protect didn't go through, and I survived at 5% health. After which we both died. But because I used this parish song move, it means I win the battle. I hit him with the big GG because he said, you lost. Ha! <laughs> Fucker. Then I went up against this team, and it's just as weird as it looks, okay? So just to clarify, this is the version where I already um, replaced the focus band and defog with Spore and the focus sash. So um, yeah. So I start with Smeargle and Spore his Steelix and for some weird ass reason he stays in next turn so I can easily get my parish song off. But then as soon as he wakes up he uses bind so he's gonna perish but so am I. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to escape. Sucks to suck, we both die. And then I sent in Lapras because I figured it was a good choice. He sent in Mill Tank and for some reason it has Brick Break. But I can easily get my block off. So he can't escape, he can't hurt me. And then he uses Stomp. Which is also really weird to have on a Mill Tank. But hey, that's low ladder Ubers, am I right? After tanking a few Stomps and getting a double protect, I finally switch out to Gengar. And he uses Stomp on the Gengar so it does no damage at all. And it's easy 5v4 for me. Then he sends in Azumarill and he goes for Belly Drum, which doesn't necessarily make sense, but hey, you do you, man. I can get a free Parish Song off because I was in a substitute when he Belly Drummed. And after stalling one turn by using Protect, I switch into Lapras and he absorbs the Aqua Jet like a fucking boss. And then he forfeits because he probably thinks I'm a fucking asshole. Next up is this battle, and I'm fairly sure this is still a focus band Smeargle, but this guy actually had a pretty decent team, so I, I figured I was gonna lose this. So I started with Gengar, and so did he, and this is where I make the critical mistake of going for the speed die, and I lose it, so I'm immediately down a poke. Then I forgot Mean Lock doesn't work on ghost types, and I felt like a fucking idiot. So at this point I was down two pokes, and I didn't do anything to him except Parish Song. I figured I'd use Duck Trio to at least make sure Gengar died, and then he makes the very questionable decision of Thunderbolting my Duck Trio. Then he sends in Greninja and switch in Lepers because Greninja can't re hurt it, and then he uses Extra Sensory. Why? And then he also allows me to get a free block off. Even though I made stupid mistakes, it's still a 4v4. Then he sends in Mill Tank, and I decide to Thunder Wave it because it's a really fast Pokemon. And then I get a really lucky Paralysis on my switch in. 
so thank god for that. Then, after using a spider web, he gets another paralysis, and I can get off a free parish song, after which he misses his toxic. After resto burying up, I easily finish him off. But he still had three big threats left, especially Necrozma and Blaziken. The ultra burst and Tafada was fucked, but for some reason Flash Cannon only did 30% damage, so I could easily resto bury up and get some health back. I send in Lepers because I can easily tank Flash Cannons, and then for some reason he just allows me to get a block and a parish song off, even though I get a double paralysis in the process. After using a single confide, I decide to switch in Govatel. He uses his C power, but because his special attack is lowered, he doesn't even one shot it, so that's really a waste of Necrozma. He sends in I just slash, and I'm dumb enough to try my resto berry tactic, after which he instantly KOs it with a shadow claw. I, I regret making that decision, many mistakes in this match. Anyway, I send this Smeargle and I try to spiderweb, but I forgot it doesn't work on ghost type Pokemon, so I waste my focus slash for no apparent reason. I use a parish song to at least get that off, and then I send in my duck trio. Luckily this guy didn't have shadow sneak and I was easily able to stall him out. At this point it was a 2v1 but I figured Blaziken was still gonna be able to kill me. I used the charm and Earthquake only did 48.8% damage, so I figured using a protect would be enough to survive another one and use another charm. However this asshole gets a crit with his second Earthquake and I figured high jump kick would be enough to KO my ass immediately. My Lepers uses protect and he uses blaze kick, but I figured it was just to avoid getting 50% damage from missing high jump kick. Then he uses blaze kick again and he apparently didn't have high jump kick, so I was able to get a parish song off. But then he reveals his secret move, Focus Punch. Why would you pick Focus Punch over High Jump Kick? I have no idea. He uses Focus Punch again and I go for Confide for some reason. Focus Punch only does 61% damage because of the charm from Duck Trio, and in the end that is what saved me this match. I use another Protect and he reveals he also has Brick Break which is also a very odd move and we both go down. But because I use Parish Song, I win the match. I was gonna end the video but I have one more battle and this is actually a battle where there are a lot of ubers, there's only one regular OU poke and that's why I wanted to do this at the end because otherwise the video title doesn't make any sense. So just to clarify before starting this, this is the version with my Spore Smeargle. I start with my Smeargle and he starts with Rayquaza. He obviously has never seen a Smeargle play because he uses Dragon Dance and I'm easily able to spore his ass. I try to use Spiderweb but he sends in Arceus and Arceus can just escape my Spiderweb, but I try to get my Parish Song off anyway. I switch back to Gothitel and he uses normal type judgment on me after calm mining up, which doesn't do a lot and I can easily protect my way out of here. Then he sends in Palkia and now you're probably like, okay he's gonna Draco Meteor, nope, he uses Bulk Up. And then after using Bulk Up, he decides to use Draco Meteor. Yeah, that's not how bulk up works my friend. But hey, this man is determined to make it work and he keeps using bulk up in order to boost his Draco Meteor. But I don't think he has any idea that Draco Meteor is a special move. But then after bulking up he uses another Draco Meteor on my Murkrow, expecting it to do more or something. I, I don't know what this guy is even thinking. Murkrow got its parish song off and I'm easily able to finish off Palkia by stalling with Gothitelle. His Rayquaza comes back out and I figure it is best to just sack Murkrow, but not before using a Parish Song. I use Smeargle again to spore it and he switches out because of the Parish Song, but Conkeldur Sleep is fine with me because he can really hurt me. Before he completely owns my ass, I decide to switch to Gengar because otherwise this boy wouldn't be fun at all. But Mega Gengar wasn't activated yet so he can switch out on my Parish Song again. Luckily I predicted the switch and he sends in Primal Groudon, which is usually a big problem for this team. But now, because he's very slow, I can easily parish song him, and for some reason he thinks it's a good idea to bulk up instead of breaking my substitute. <laughs> I can easily stall him to death. And when I say easily, I actually mean sacking Duck Trio in the process. I send in Smeargle to spore basically anything and he sends in Rayquaza. After sporing it, he feels like it's enough, he sends in Reshiram to kill it, but at least I'm able to get a parish song off, so it's fine with me honestly. I use spiderweb so he can't escape and this blue flare misses. This is perfect because it doesn't buy me just this turn, but it also buys me a second turn because I can use protect. After that I switch in Lepros because it can easily tank a blue flare, but it still does 68% damage, which is absolutely insane to me because he has really decent special defense stats. He sends in Conkeldur and I just use Parish Song, I figured I didn't really need Lepros anymore, and then he makes the questionable decision of using Dig. 
a two-turn move against the Pokemon with Protect. But once again, he is very stubborn. And he uses Dig again when I use Block. Like, the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> I have no idea. I easily take it down by sacking Smeargle in the process and thus Dig actually got a kill. But then Mega Gengar can easily use Parish Song because Rayquaza is still asleep. And I decide to be a show-off and make it a 3-0 instead of a 2-0. Because he uses Aerial Ace. Yeah, I... I don't know. And that's it, I actually beat a team with 5 Ubers. But there's a big asterisk because he uses moves such as Dig, Aerial Ace, Bulk Up, Draco Meteor, Palkia. Yeah, those are the teams I'm winning against. Amazing. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed because I definitely did making this. I'm not gonna lie, this is way more fun than making Pokemon challenges as such. Because this is just figuring out what the hell I'm doing. Like, I'm using my own custom movesets, own custom EVs, own custom moves. And I can make so many decisions against actual people instead of just AI. I'm definitely gonna be making more of these. Please let me know if you like this type of video, if the editing was nice. Um, I tried to make the battles go a little bit faster because narrating every single turn seemed boring to me. Um, I hope I left in the most important parts. Um, if you're not satisfied with the editing or whatever, just let me know. Um, if you have other team suggestions, let me know as well because I want to do more of these. I want to just fuck around with Pokemon and, and see how deep the Pokemon playbook can really get. So yeah, leave any ideas for teams and I'll make a video about it because this is a lot of fun to do. Anyway, that's gonna do it. If you like this video, then definitely leave a like rating. If you liked it even more, then definitely hit that subscribe button. And um, I'll see you later. Peace.